If you are scared of anatomy and scoring well in anatomy, then trust me, you are not alone. Anatomy is definitely a subject that once traumatized me. But now, I feel like I have got a decent grasp in anatomy. And one main reason why I have got a decent grasp in anatomy is because of Anki. Anki is this amazing flashcards app that I have been like promoting in every single video of mine. If you have been following my videos for quite some time, then you probably know that I'm just a big fan of Anki. And I have made my own Anki deck for anatomy. Uh, so I have made a separate video for how to make efficient cards in Anki. However, I would like to address this topic specifically. That is how to make Anki cards for anatomy. I am Rohit Pivyar, a second year medical student at Madhuri Medical College. And I make videos regarding academics, spirituality and some self-help stuffs. So if this sounds like a cup of tea, then do subscribe. Before I start giving my points on how to actually make good cards for anatomy, we should actually know why exactly should we make cards for anatomy. We all know that anatomy is full of factual information. For example, what is the nerve supply for biceps brachii? What is the nerve supply for quadriceps femoris? What is lying laterally to this artery? What is lying medial to this nerve? I mean, there is. I don't really think there is any concept in this. You have to create this complete 3D image inside your brain. The whole body should be like one 3D image inside your mind. And from this, you have to deduce everything. So before you build this 3D image inside your mind, you would have to like memorize every single part properly. So there are a lot of stuff to memorize in anatomy and cards exactly solve this problem. Flash cards are exactly the solution for this problem of not being able to remember properly. Because flash cards are found to be the most efficient study technique ever because it involves both active recall and space repetition and that's where Anki comes in. And the things to learn in anatomy include particular diagrams, nerve supply, arterial supply, muscles, relations, transverse sections and the relevant clinical anatomy. So because we have to remember a lot of stuffs, we definitely need something to aid in this preparation. And also I feel like when I become a doctor, I would definitely need anatomy a lot because like surgery is legit anatomy right because like you should know that when you cut through the skin when you cut when you go close to thyroid gland for doing thyroidectomy you should ligate the superior thyroid artery close to the gland and the inferior thyroid artery away from the gland it is all because of the relations of the various nerves with the artery anatomy is clinically very very important so let us dive into how we can make the relevant cards for anatomy so first thing we need to learn anatomy are diagrams. So the card you can make for diagrams and anatomy is simply the question will be draw the diagram. Answer is the particular diagram. Uh, so in my case, I have heard most people say that neuroanatomy is actually really hard. But trust me, neuroanatomy is my favorite subject. And I feel like I understand neuroanatomy better than upper limb. It's simply because of Anki. Like in Anki, I have put this card of transfer section of uh, the various parts of the brainstem. So because I know the exact transfer section, of various parts of the brainstem, I can deduce the clinical anatomy very easily. So this gave me some confidence. Just because of Anki, I was able to remember all these uh, facts very well. And also I still remember on the day of exam, my professor came up to me and asked how good my preparation was. And then she also asked me about uh, whether I know about the brainstem properly. And then the very next moment I told that, ma'am, I have them in my fingertips. And she was also very happy. And uh, it was also very nice because she was the teacher who taught me this uh, these parts. And thanks to the concepts she gave me and also thanks to Anki, I ended up actually having the concepts really well in my mind. So the next thing we have to learn in anatomy is the muscle and its nerve supply. It's pretty straightforward. And the next thing we have to learn in anatomy is the particular relation of the various parts in our body. So this also can be done very, very easily in Anki cards. And the best part about Anki is that you can add infinite images into Anki. I'll just search on Google for some very good cadaver images and I'll then upload them into my Anki and I'll constantly recall and I'll constantly see the cadaver image again and again so that I know the actual anatomy because how many ever diagrams you can practice, nothing comes close to a cadaver, right? So studying cadaver images definitely has helped me very much. And when it comes to histology, I didn't really use Anki that much because uh, during my first year, I wasn't really aware of the concepts of Anki. But now, in fact, I actually regret not using Anki for histology. Uh, histology is also pretty straightforward. You can just upload the histology slides and then the answer would be the answer of the histology. Like, for example, uh, this is the cuboidal epithelium. So, like, show the diagram of cuboidal epithelium and then the answer will be cuboidal epithelium. Simple. And for embryology also, it is pretty straightforward. For example, during which weeks can we see physiological uh, umbilical hernia? So this is also a way in which we can add embryology into Anki. And finally, I have this pro tip. 
I have managed to collect the previous year papers. They are literally like everywhere in internet. So I collected the previous year papers and also and I have created my own deck for all the previous year papers along with the answers. So because of this, I was able to revise very nicely in my last two or three days. So Anki has definitely helped me get my distinction in anatomy. But my only regret is that I haven't been using Anki since the uh, start of uh, first year. But uh, it's never too late, I guess. I have started Anki now. And if you're watching this video, I would strongly recommend using Anki. It is really dope. I mean, for example, if you are the kind of person who believes in active recall and space repetition, which is also scientifically proven, then uh, trust me, Anki is going to be life changing. And in this video, I have talked about how to get a distinction in anatomy. And I can bet that this video is going to be definitely useful for you. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thank you for watching. See you soon.